record out. It's called Sometimes I Cry, and uh, people are feeling it. And I'm making my rounds, stopping around to uh, stations and shaking some hands. Also doing a few shows. Um, new CD is going to come out uh, in November. It's called Lost in Time. Okay. So that's what's bringing me here. Oh, so what's the concept behind the title, Lost in Time? Lost in Time is all about... Um, you know, basically, I wanted to have this record that... Whose phone was that? Yours or mine? Uh, it might be mine. Oh, that might be your phone. Yeah. that phone? Yeah. So, um, I wanted to make a record that sounded and felt like it was recorded in the mid-70s. Oh. You know, for me, um, the 70s were when R&B music kind of matured. Uh, and uh, when I was... I'm a child of the 70s. I grew up just being bombarded with this great music of Marvin, of Al Green, of uh, Rufus with Shaka Khan, and the OJs and the stylistics, and that's that's what my musical, you know, development uh, uh, was influenced by. So I, I listen to the radio today, and it, you know, there's a lot of strong artists out there, no doubt, but I feel like there's uh, a level of that passion that's missing on uh, the, the consistency that it was back in the day, you know. Mm -hmm. I think back in the day, uh, when people recorded a song, it had to be about dope musicians because they didn't have the technology to like sequence or put something in the uh, Pro Tools or this, that, and the other. So you had to come to the studio with skills. You had to be able to sing, and you had to be able to bring it all together. And I think there's a there's definitely a level of that uh, that passion that's missing. And um, with this record, Lost in Time, as the title. You know, his, his title kind of hints towards, uh, uh, I wanted to bring that back. I wanted people to, I wanted the old heads like me to listen to this record and, you know, remember what it felt like to hear music like that. And I wanted the young, the young generation like y'all to like hear this and feel like I felt when I was young and I was listening to this. So, um. Uh, that's uh, what the album is really about. So how does today's music make you feel? Because I know you caught up in the 70s and everything. How do you like today's music? Um, I think there's artists out there that, um, you know, no doubt there's, uh, there's some brilliant artists out there, you know, and I think there's some very creative and talented um, artists out there. I think just in com if you're going to compare the two, you know, it's my bias that... Um, you know, uh, there's really no comparison to the level of musicianship from back in the day. Uh, I think that, um, you know, when you hear songs, you know, we got Alicia Keys playing in the, the background right now. I think when you hear artists that hint at what was happening back then, like this song did for her and a lot of her songs do for her, that's, those are the kind of artists that people like grab it to and like give, get the stamp of contemporary greatness you know so and I think the reason for that is um, you know they they are very well aware of uh, uh, of uh, where the great greatness came from or where the greatest time of R&B came from so that's kind of what I feel about it okay so why did you decide to release sometimes I want to cry as the first single um, to be quite honest it was not my decision okay <laughs> it was uh, I um, you know I basically just uh, had this relationship with my record label where they basically just broke me off the money I asked for to record the record I wanted to make and once I had demoed everything to the point where I felt like it was good enough for them to listen to I kind of just went up to Warner Brothers and I let a few people hear the demos and they were just like wow mm -hmm. and they listened to um, the whole record and they just thought uh, the entire record as a as a piece a body of work was just incredible and they kind of chose sometimes I cry as this thing as this song that kind of summed up a lot of the passion on the record and um, um, would, would kind of like immediately get a people's attention to want to listen to the rest of the record so I'm glad they chose it okay I was also watching something very interesting on YouTube with your daughter India y'all was doing a duet and everything yeah. Is she thinking about breaking into a singing career yeah, she's uh, she's extremely talented in her own right, and you know, unlike her father, she's also very academically. Uh, <laughs> uh, she has a strong academic prowess as well, uh, you know. Um, so I'm really encouraging her to. She just started at USC, and I'm encouraging her to finish. Um, 
And unlike her dad, who dropped out uh, two years into college, which, you know, I kind of regretted my whole life. And, uh, but yeah, we're uh, actually working on some music for India right now while she's in school. Can we expect a duet from you two? Yeah, actually, India's singing a song with me on the new album. It's called uh, Summer Love. But uh, yeah, when we get her stuff cracking, um, I would I would love to do a duet with my daughter. That sounds awesome. Also, you know, you've had one of the most popular duets of all time with Tamia. What are your top favorite duets of all time? Ah, that's a good one. Uh, let's see, my top favorite duets of all time. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is going to be um, Roberta Flack and Donny Hathaway. Where's the love? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, <laughs> I'll a, just I'll just stay right there. Okay, that's a good selection. Um, yeah. Also, can we expect another duet from you and Tamia in the future? Because I saw I, it on Twitter. Everybody was like, you know. That's funny. That's funny you mentioned that. I was just telling uh, Tracy um, from uh, another radio station that um, uh, I, I just kind of threw it out there on Twitter. Uh, I was like, hey, y'all, do you think uh, Tamia and I should do another duet? And then we got a barrage or tweets like hell yeah y'all need to do that that was the best wedding song ever and so i uh i texted to mia and i was like to mia you seeing all this and she was like yeah i see it i think we need to get back in there so i mean it's something something like that could, could be nice for the next for the next album i think that'll be awesome even if you came to you know howard university perform Crandom auditorium we would love that oh out here. man i would love to do that yes yeah, so yeah. we should you know we're gonna work on getting that done because you could probably pull some strings i could probably i know you can you know so we're gonna definitely uh, we're gonna i don't know out. the strings here you you know them, well i got a few strings i can't really toot my own horn i'm all right i'm just doing this radio thing you know you're doing it well thank you so much well i've had a great time interviewing you thank and you. um let people know where they can buy the album when it comes out uh everywhere uh where people speak uh, any language okay <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no but the album will be out in november it's called lost in time and uh it'll be all over you know all the stores itunes um you know you might want to buy two of them you might want to have one for your car you might want to have one for you for your house you know? well i'm excited to have you here today and i can't wait to go out and purchase my lost in time album Thank and you so um, much. i'll definitely be hitting you up on twitter you should follow whhbc on twitter we'll i will give you the information and everything like that we'll work on getting you and tamia you know to make a comeback performance I and will. hopefully we'll hear something from you in the future and check it out y'all can follow me on twitter at uh, twitter.com backslash ebenet e-b-e-n-e-t or i guess on twitter you do like at benet <laughs> Or at Ebene, I don't know. Y'all young kids, y'all know that better than I do. <laughs> okay, WHBC, that was Eric Benet. And stay tuned to your number one college radio station. We keep the artists coming. We got it on lock. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you trying to sound like a